Hey, what is up, my crazy subscribers? This is Joe King Jones, and before today, I'll be talking about the new patch notes that came out for Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And the funny thing is, this actually came out right after I was deciding to actually move on from the game. So uh, let's go over the patch notes, and I'll talk to you guys along the way what I actually do need that uh, needs a more change compared to the other patches. So uh, first things first, I would like to announce that uh, of course they did add like, two new free maps, which is the uh, Croftnik Farmland and also the Shoot House. And uh, the Shoot House is actually a 6v6 map, while Farmland is a ground war map. So um, which is not bad. But we need more maps, man. We just you just can't have three in ground war. I'm tired of playing the same two, same ones, which is the uh, the one with a bunch of buildings around where people just camp on the rooftops, and pretty much causes me to lose more than half of the time because my team doesn't even bother, you know, to even capture a goddamn flag. Well, the other map is decent. At least there's some like you know chaos and action into it, which I understand. Uh, the next thing they did uh, that kind of surprised me the most, hardpoint is now in rotation. That's quite surprising, to be honest. I think Hardpoint should have been there since day one, but whatever, you know, they want to roll out things so slow, I guess so. Uh, shoot how 24-7, this includes a mixture of Team Deathmatch, Domination, Kill Confirm, and Headquarters. I'm guessing they're trying to, to pull off a Nuketown kind of thing, see if they can pull off a memorable map. To be honest, they should have brought back Dome from Modern Warfare 3. I'm pretty sure that would have worked out fine in this kind of game, you know. That that, that freaking map was so memorable compared to whatever they're pulling off nowadays. Because, you know, most of the maps nowadays are not that good. I'm looking at you, Piccadilly and Bridgeham Bridge. Next thing they did, uh, they f did some general fixes. Uh, also, they did kind of fix a few bugs here and there about, you know, field upgrades and, you know, um, something about the Semtex not actually registering right. The one that caught me off guard, though was the fix for the UAVs and the freaking silencer and the ghost. Now, there's something going on there, because I had noticed that along the way. Because I use ghost. I use ghost in some of my classes. I stopped using it because I just feel like it doesn't work at all. So, apparently, apparently the UAV did actually reveal players who were using ghost and silencer. I knew I wasn't going crazy about that situation, bruh, because people actually detect me even though I have Ghost on, even though I had Dead Silence on. It was just so weird. So I wasn't going crazy at all. It was a real thing. Um, also, they fixed an issue with the personal radars. Apparently, if so many of your teammates actually call in several personal radars. Your personal radar will not capture their enemy. So that means only one person is available to see that one guy if two personal radars were active or more. So whoever called it in first is gonna be able to see the enemy. So like, come on, man, this is, oh my God. I knew the personal radar was not even freaking working in High Town too. So anyways, the Claymores uh, apparently also got a nerf, uh, which is half of a good thing, to be honest. But since I don't use Claymores anymore, I'm using like mostly the uh, Thermite or the Molotov. I mean, uh, well, rip, rest in peace, Claymore. So they recently did a uh, a patch where they reduced the trigger and the damage radius for the Claymores, which is a good thing at the same time, but a bad thing because I, I'm I'm starting to like kind of have a flashback about Black Ops One and uh, me using Claymores back in the day. Like those gave me like free kills all the time. So uh, now that it's being reduced and damage, I'm like, man. I wish I'll use it again, but there's like so many other things I would like to use too. So I don't use claymores nowadays. I mean, I used to do it like in the, in the first day of release, but like, eh, I stopped using it after a while. To be honest, I always find enemies like hiding in corners, so that's why I switched out to the grenades. Uh, the battle chatter, if you guys do not know, every time you see an enemy, your own character will shout out, Enemy been spotted. And even the enemy can actually hear that. So the more you hear, like the game itself, you can hear the enemy's callouts calling you out. So you'll know which direction it's coming from. It's just ridiculous. It gives away too many positions. And I notice how many free kills I get out of that just itself, the battle chatter. So yes, I'm glad they kind of fixed that. So now every time your own player, your own character calls out an enemy, it will be only on your side for your own teammates to hear not for the enemy too, so like, I'm glad they kind of fixed that. 
They also fixed some certain certain challenges and prog progressions and ranking and all that stuff. I'm glad some of them were detected because I've noticed every time I did, you know, some of the challenges for some of the legendary weapons, they don't even work. <laughs> I had to like restart the freaking challenge over and over again. I'm like, what the hell is going on with this goddamn thing? When I did that video about legendary weapons, that same day I noticed how broken the freaking challenges were, man. So I apologize for those people who couldn't even do them. Um, <laughs> the weapons nerfs, of course, the 725 shotgun got nerfed. Good. Good. Go to hell, 725 shotgun, man. And all those users, too, you go to hell, too. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, the M4A1 also got nerfed. Good. The damage range got reduced. And also, the, the recoil got increased, which is a good thing. That gun needs a recoil increase because it shoots too fast, bro. There's no way that thing can act like a sniper from miles away. No freaking way. The M4A1? No. It has too much rapid fire. There's no way that thing could be so stable. Uh, the assault rifles, also, they all of them increased the hip fire spread, which is good because they most of them acted like SMGs, like half of the time. Also, they have less damage at long range for full autos. Uh, that one is questionable, though. That one is quite questionable because it's an assault rifle. We need a freaking weapon that can shoot from long range. Not like snipers like the M4A1, but you know, you get me. They should not be reducing damage on that. Just increase the goddamn recoil and we're good with the assault rifle. Because if not, it's going to turn into an SMG game and a, and a freaking sniper game at that point. But like, anyways, the SMGs, they increase the movement speed. Hell yeah. I'm not sure why the hell they have it as a freaking assault rifle in the first place. I've noticed how slow you run with SMGs. And I'm like, bro, this, this ain't right. <laughs> And I notice how fast you aim with them, but not how fast you run with them. They're fre freaking abysmal. They kind of act like you're holding an assault rifle, which is ridiculous. The LMGs, all of them increase the hip fire spread, which is good, because they acted like goddamn SMGs more than half of the time. Now, those did needed a kind of a big fix. So, uh, yeah, the LMGs got increased on hip fire spreads, and also they got a medium and short range reduction, which is questionable, really. Now, that one I do not agree with. But like, anyways, they just needed a freaking recoil increase. That's all they needed. The pistols, of course, they increased the movement speed, the reduced sprint out time, increased the damage range, which is good because the pistols were abysmal in this game, to be honest, except for the Deagle and the Revolver. Those were actually pretty good, but the rest of the pistols, they suck. Special Ops, I have no idea what Special Ops is because I don't play that mode. Like I said a long time ago, I don't play Special Ops. So anyways... That is it guys, those are all the patches for Call of Duty Modern Warfare, um, and some of them I do agree on, some of them I don't agree on, and uh, it's alright, you know, the game is getting fixed, which is good. If this is going to happen every two weeks where there's going to be new maps, I'm up for it, to be honest. But I'm hoping they're good maps, <laughs> you know, I haven't tried out Farmland or the other one, but I'm hoping they're good. I'm hoping they are good, because I was about to freaking leave the game. So anyways, that is it guys. If you guys want to see more Call of Duty stuff, make sure you subscribe for more. There's going to be more content, especially on the new maps. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe.